You're not smart enough. Yes, I am. I'm way smarter than you. You're so useless drunk who did nothing with his life. I told you never speak to me like that again. You're an alcoholic. She gonna get me, old man. Lesson, I told you stay out of my business. Leave my boy alone. Get away from him! Oh. What are you doing home already? How's school? Hey! Look at me when I'm talking to you. School was fine. Don't you dare have an attitude with me, Jack. I've had a long day. Yeah, we made a drinking. What was that? Uh, no, no, nothing. I was just trying to do my homework. Please don't hit me again. Huh! My son. Doing his homework like a good little boy. I have to if I want to get into college, I think. You gonna be a college boy now? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think so. Yeah, right. You ain't smart enough to get into college. I think I'm smart enough, maybe. Ain't nobody in this family ever got into college. What makes you so special? Because I work hard and my English teacher says I'm the best in my grade. Yeah? Well, don't let them get you too excited. No offense, but you've never been the sharpest tool in the shed. You know what I mean? than you. Ow! Don't you ever talk to me like that in my own house. Without me, you'd have nothing. I wonder mom left, just a big bully. You listen to me, boy. You just a little brat, dumb as a box of rocks. I'm your father. You will never speak to me like that again, unless you want me to put you out on the street. You understand me? Yes, sir. Good. Now go get me another beer. Yeah, yes, sir. Move this crap out of my way. Watch my ball game. It's your stupid beer. I hate you. That's right. Run away like your mama did. Stupid kid. Hey Jack, what's up? Oh, hey Moses. It's just my lousy, no good father. It's nothing but a mean drunk. You wanna sit down? We could talk about it? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't talk about your dad that way. You should try to be a little more respectful. You have to earn respect to get it. Fair enough. So what do you do this time? He told me I was dumb and I'm not gonna get into college. Well, you know that's not true, right? I mean, you're the smartest kid I know. I know, but like, why does he have to say that? Why does he have to be such a jerk all the time? He's an angry, broken man, and he just likes to take it out on you. Oh, what do you have to be angry about? Well, he didn't have the grades to get into college like you do. And when your mom left, that really hurt him. He doesn't talk about her. Yeah. Guys like your dad don't like to talk about stuff like that. They just drink to dull the pain. Stupid. So, your dad's always drinking. There must be something else that's bothering you. Well, there's a speech contest at school tomorrow, and I need my dad to drive me there. But I, he probably won't. Have you asked him? No, but what's the point? He doesn't do things like that. He says they're a waste of his time. Well, you should ask him. Maybe he'll surprise you. Ah, uh, Jack better not be down there talking to that no good Moses again. Why's that guy always up in my business? That Moses always butting his head in where he shouldn't be. Oh no, here he comes. Don't worry, Jack. It'll be alright. Thought I heard voices out here. You two talking about anyway. Hey, Grant. We were just talking about you. Yeah? 
I hope he's not filling his head full of lies about his future again. I think Jack has something he'd like to ask you. Oh, uh, well, there's this thing at school tomorrow and I need someone to take me. What kind of a thing? Uh, well, it, it's a speech contest and the winner gets an A for the rest of the semester. Ain't no chance of you winning. Why would I bother taking you? Come on, Grant. Give the kid a chance. He's a lot smarter than you give him credit for. Mind your own business, you old loser. You might talk to him like that, but you better watch your mouth around me. Yeah? What are you gonna do about it? Just a friendly warning. <laughs> I'll talk. So will you take me? I am too busy. Take you to some contest you're gonna lose anyways. Wasting your time with this old man. Toys Claw, grab your plunger. <sighs> Told you I didn't come. You need someone to take you. I'll take you, buddy. Really? Yeah, anything for you. Hey! Come on! <sighs> Bye, Moses. See you later. You take care. You too. <laughs> you did a great job. Thank you. I'm so proud of you, Jack. <laughs> I can't believe I won. Oh, you did awesome. Where have you been? Two idiots smiling about. Since you were too busy, I took Jack to his speech contest. You did what? Uh, Moses took me to my contest and I won, look. Are you guys this piece of trash? And I got an A for the rest of the semester. If he keeps this up, he's definitely getting into college. I can't believe you took my boy without my permission. I'd have called the cops on you. I did the kid a favor. You should be proud of him. For what? You just filling him up with hope. Tell him he's gonna go to college. Get him fancy. They're not fantasies. Even my teacher told me I could get into college. He said I could get a scholarship. For what? You're not smart enough. Yes, I am. I'm way smarter than you. You're just a useless drunk who did nothing with his life. I told you never speak to me like that again. You're an alcoholic. She gonna get me, old man. Teach you a lesson. I told you stay out of my business. Leave my boy alone. Get away from him! Oh. You okay, Moses? Yeah, I'm alright. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this trophy's trash. You're trash too. Dad, no! No! Grant, stop! Your son earned that! I'm gonna get you this time, boy. Get out of my way, old man. You hurt that boy, I swear I'll kill you. I want you out of my house. Leave and never come back. Just like your mother. Hate you! You? You wanna take him clothes shopping? Dress him up, fill his head with nonsense? He can go live with you for all I care. Get out of here. You're a disgrace. Good riddance to the both of you. Hey, Jack. I don't know where to go. It's okay, Jack. You can stay with me, all right? Really? Yes, for as long as you need to, all right? I'll be there for you. Moses ended up taking Jack in to live with him for three months before finding his mother and giving her full custody. Moses tried keeping in touch with Jack throughout the years, but eventually time separated them. That is, until Jack got some troubling news about Moses. Hey, Moses. I came as soon as I heard the news. Hey, Jack. It's good to see you. You're looking good. What's it been? 15 years? I think so. It's been a minute, huh? Wow. It's crazy how time flies. But enough about me. Uh, I heard about the cancer. What, 
What's going on with the treatment? Oh, well, it's my my insurance expired when I retired, and you know the doctor said something about just a quarter million dollars or some nonsense. So I, I can't afford that. So, but man, it's great seeing you. Remember when I was a kid, and you sent me for my alcoholic father. You know, it was uh, because of you that I was able to go to college and even graduate top of my class. I even started my own business. You know, you really took care of me growing up. So now it's my turn to take care of you. I'm gonna cover every single one of your medical bills. I, I can't, I can't let you do that, Jack. Moses. It's too much. Moses, you're like a father to me growing up. It's the least I could do. Thank you. Yeah. Love you, Jack. Love you too, Moses. Remember to be kind to one another because one kind gesture can change somebody's life. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Make sure to share this with your friends and family so that they can also receive this message. And remember, here at Generation Hope, we're trying to make the world a better place one story at a time.